With the new firearms update in Dying Light 2, you may be wondering how to actually unlock them. Well, today I'm going to show you how. The normal way is by completing the mission The Lost Armory, which I have a walkthrough for on my channel. Side note about this, you will not gain access to this mission until you've reached the central loop at some point. Once you complete the mission, you'll get a service pistol and some ammo as your reward. Then you have access to Jay, the new agent at the Fisheye. I'll have a more in-depth video on him soon. This is the only way currently in the game to obtain guns, with a couple of exceptions. One of those is that if you log into the game before March 7th, you will get the Haran pistol in your stash. I've heard from a lot of people that are not seeing it after logging in, so here are a couple things you can do. First, make sure your platform is connected to your Pilgrim Outpost account. This is done on the dashboard of the website. Then when you start the game, make sure that the Techland Online Service status at the bottom of the main menu says that it's connected. This should allow the pistol to show up in your stash extra tab. Another exception is the Volcatronics Redux gun in the game store. This one costs 200 DL points and will go straight into your stash. Lastly, there is the Scorpio Hybrid Weapon. It fires harpoons and it also counts as a melee weapon. You'll unlock this by completing the Week 1 Anniversary Bounties, which I'll have a guide on soon. Not sure if it'll be available after that or not, but if so, then it'll probably either be on the website or added to Jay's inventory. If you want more Dying Light content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. And if you want to see other games like Pal World, then check out my second YouTube, RG Reimagined, linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.